Black Power. Man, how is everyone? I hope everyone that is listening is having a wonderful day. I hope that all has been well with you. I hope that some things worked out for you today that you wanted to work out for you. It happened exactly the way you wanted and desired it to. I hope all things, all these things have happened and will continue to happen for you. Let me say that when I say black power to any Europeans that may be listening, it's nothing to do with hating you all, but it's having the love for my people, hoping that our situation uh, is able to change, that we're able to think a little bit more clearly, uh, love ourselves, and continue to move forward. But um, whenever I leave these videos, it really is spirit-led. Uh, like I said, I'm a very in tune person. I listen to how the earth sounds. I listen to the rhetoric of people. I listen to um, the the common things that come out of people's mouths. And it's, it's just interesting the direction uh, that we as people have turned. Everyone now is uh, extremely violent, lies, no loyalty anymore. I have no idea where this energy came from. It's like a spirit of something that has come over the people and this spirit has uh, all type of destruction and, and, and violence and no love. I mean, if you look at the situation out here now where everyone, like many people aren't getting married and if they are married, it seems to be a problem with their relationships. There's always some type of fighting. People don't want to put in the work to uh, be themselves and to know themselves, which is on some level the point of where I'm going, self, I spoke a little bit about it before, but what we really must understand, like I said, you see the uh, African symbolism or ancient comedic symbolism with the eye of Horus, and then you see the words, know thyself. Again, that is only part of the answer. Once you know yourself, you have to be able to accept yourself. Because first and foremost, to know something about yourself doesn't mean that you will work on it. A lot of us, when we really begin to know ourselves, find out there's some really dark and deep things. Some things that may be taboo, some things uh, about us that we really don't want other people to know that we're actually ashamed of. The whole thing about it is because of your feeling toward those things, you tend to brush them away. But let's not forget, all of those make up a part of us. Most of us are so fractured right now. We are so divided within ourselves. That's why a lot of things don't seem to go the way that we desire them to. You ever get ready to do something and what comes out of your mouth is, well, part of me wanted to do it, but part of me didn't. Now, just listening to those words again, words have meaning. They are, they are sounds that we scribe meaning to. So if part of you didn't want to do it, it lets you know that you have divided yourself some type of way. You make contracts with yourself in order to stay whole. You have to always be honest and factual and truthful to your whole self. Again, knowing the truth about yourself is the key to unlocking everything about your life. You may not like everything, but you need to know it and learn it. Even if you choose not to tell other peoples, you yourself need to know exactly who you are. You are your own final arbiter. You make all the decisions in your life. You should not allow anyone to control you. So with all that being said, going back to the point of knowing thyself, then accepting thyself, you have to learn all of these things about yourself. You can never be in a successful relationship. You can never have a lot of success in the simple things in life because you will be so divided that you can't make clear decisions. If you take a piece of glass and you fracture it, you can see through it, but you can't see through it clearly. Only the whole glass can give you a clear picture of what's going on. So that means that you need to get the whole of yourself back together. And you do that again by learning and by loving yourself no matter what it may be. I know religion and other people say that certain things are wrong, this, that, and the other, but everything is permissible as long as you understand and as long as you understand the truth about that particular thing in itself, whatever it may be. Every single one of us, every single one of you, you are all beautiful and perfect in your own way. There is nothing wrong with any of you. Just some of us need to get ourselves back together and move toward our center. It really is all about balance. 
All of these things are permissible. All of the evils that you want to think of, all of the goods that you want to think of, they're all permissible. They all play a part in this world of balance. Where there's good, there's evil, up and down, pull and push, etc., etc. But getting back to the main point, knowing yourself will put you on a path to making extremely clear and informed decisions that will help you in life. Going back to the relationships, you can never have a good relationship with someone if you don't know yourself. Because there's always going to be brand new situations that present themselves that you will react totally out of control. or It may take you out of character because it's something that you don't understand. So what I'm saying is, how do I want to put it? Learn everything there is to know about yourself. You need to know the biggest thing to the smallest thing that you really like and you need to know the biggest thing to the smallest thing that you really don't like. You need to be able to draw these comparisons so when you're faced with situations in life, you know exactly what track you're on and who you are. You can then make a very clear decision. Again, that is what the message is always going back to be able to be free, to make very free decisions and clear decisions. So, I guess I'll leave by saying, love who you are. No matter what your circumstances are, no matter what's going on in your life, love yourself. You have something to offer the world. There is no one else like you, and your message and who you are should be heard, should be known, and should be loved. Learn yourself. You are your final arbiter. You are your final judge. There's no one else's opinion who's ma who should matter more than yours to yourself. But it's your choice. Black Power.